Now, well, yeah. the, the other thing I just wanted to bring in is, is that when we started this project out with the city, we had over 850,000 net square feet of buildable space that was basically permitted use. And we entered into an agreement with the city and most people don't realize that the 50% density we gave up was 450,000 square feet more that could be on that hillside if we would have agreed to deal with the city or not agreed to deal with the city and putting this project together we were willing to give up the 450 because we thought the verticality would be a good classic way of showing how you could make Park City better and now it's come back to us and people are looking at us and saying well just give it up give it all give the other three percent away um, and I'm personally not interested in giving the three percent away because I truly believe and this is my passion I've been on Main Street for 10 years trying to help make Main Street better and this project will bring the density that Main Street needs and the people that will be able to come in in the off season and spend money because we'll have the uh, um, conference space uh, there to be able to have these people come in and we can compete with Salt Lake for small conferences that will generate the income for the street. And that brings up my really, really the last question is, you know, in this economy, are you still projecting the kind of growth and the kind of numbers here in Park City that would support this project absolutely I mean what happens is the economy's in the tailspin but as it levels out which it will and it starts to grow we're 24 months to 36 months out before you start construction at least so yeah. there's a whole design component for a project this size uh, construction costs are down I think there's going to be a pent-up demand um, you haven't seen a huge decline in Park City properties, but sure, everybody's hurting right now. So we think it's it we're forward thinking enough, just like we were, our dad was back in 1964, to say you know times will change. And Park City historically has had these ups and downs oh. and ups and downs. <laughs> this is more global, but no, I think it, I think it's more important now because we bring a bed base that's integral to what Mike is saying is sustainability of Main Street and Main Street makes Park City unique and we we do that in such a way that we have we really truly have little impact no new roads it's all vertical it's up and down but people get scared because they were afraid that it's too big but look at lower Main Street they told us we couldn't do it we couldn't do the bridge we couldn't do the ski lift and we've done it and it's just part of the fabric now so we're confident and we're perseverant and we get more entrenched as people, as long as it's not personal, and everybody's been pretty good about that, but it, it's to the point, well, if the shoe were on the other foot and they had that property, I would think that those who were objecting would say, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to develop it and not give it. It's 97% open space. As Mike says, we can't give much more of it away. You have to have a little bit to build on. But that was what the city wanted us to do, and I think those guys 20 years ago were forward thinkers. But it's a, it, it is a larger project, so it is what it is. So, you know, obviously there has been a lot of discussion, uh, you know, jam-packed meetings over at the Yarrow and uh, at, uh, at, at City Council. What, what's next for you guys? How do you, you know, take some of those emotions and turn them around? I think what we have to do is based on on the letter that the attorney wrote is that we do have vested rights we have to take initiative and say here are the elements which were approved and we need to force the city to look at traffic to look at uh, volume, volume to look architecture. at architecture and move it one way or the next just move the process because we have to get it through the planning commission if they don't approve it we appeal it to the city council as we've done with all of our other projects and we work with that body and if that doesn't work we take it to the next recourse i mean we are which you, you you litigate it and that's not the right way to do development but people should know that mike Patton and are are determined that we're do, we think we're doing the right thing we want to make sure it's for the for park city we're not doing it just for ourselves but the long run it's going to help park city but we need to push it. Enough is enough. And we think we've done what the city has asked us to do, but we have to take the initiative and, and, and roll with it. And the city's going to have to work with us. All right. 
guys. Thanks so much for uh, coming you, by. If people want to uh, see, so, you know, we ran some of the, the the images from from the website. Where uh, you know, point point people in that direction. Tre TreasureParkCity.com. Easy enough to find. Guys, again, thank you so much for uh, coming in. Thank Thanks. you. We've got a whole lot more to come on the program, including a look at the weather and the Live Green Eco Fest. Don't go away.